Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill again with the next episode of my virtual Alter Egos adventures in the post-apocalyptic world of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. In the last episode, Gordon Overkill uh, tried to become a serious hunter. He went out into the forest and hunted a couple of rats and squirrels. And actually he was not very successful with it. He managed to uh, get meat from a single one of them and messed all the other corpses up during his attempts of butchering them. But maybe it was also due to himself being sick. He got himself a cold and I think that somehow sucks. And uh, that's why I decided to maybe try something a little more exciting this uh, time. What I thought was to walk around the town in a wide circle and try to reach uh, this building, which is a pharmacy. And I am rather sure that there at the pharmacy we will be able to get ourselves a nice supply of medicine. I hope that will work and maybe we will even be able to hunt an animal or two on the way through the forest around here. So that's what we're going to do. Have we got anything that we don't need that we might drop? Mm -hmm. No, no, that all looks fine got a little supply with us. I think I'll also pick up this bottle of clean water. If we get thirsty on the way we can drink from it. Close the doors. We've got our combat knife equipped. We've got all our other equipment. That's fine. So now first we're going to make a wide circle around town so we do not have to fight any nasties on the way. Could we hunt this fox? Want to try it? Yes, we try it. Throw a rock at the fox. That hit. That hit too. And one more maybe. Oh, now we miss him. Fox runs away. And he's quicker than us. We can kill him. Too bad. Mm, well, here we are. Let's go a little further. There's a chipmunk somewhere around. Oh, it's next to this house with the drug dealers. Not going to go there. <coughs> a squirrel? What about this squirrel? Where is that? Also down there, a town. Those animals seem to be not at all afraid of the zombies. Brave little creatures they are. A moose? I, I won't fight the moose. Like I told you, once I fought a moose and... Uh, he heavily hit me, yes. <laughs> I do not want to do that again. How many rocks do we have? Let's keep 14 or 15 rocks with us as a nest supply. Because at the moment, throwing rocks is our best way to fight enemies. Our best trained fighting skill. Throwing rocks. We have now seen a hostile enemy, which is a sewer rat. Where is this rat? Oh, it's very much to the south. We'll see if the rat gets closer to us, then we might try to kill it. Mm. Now it's to the north? No, to the south. Directly to the south. Let's try if we can kill this rat. That might be... Here it is, yeah. Those rats are quite aggressive, so they do not run away from us. I like that. Hit it. Hit it again. And it died. Can we butcher it? Oh, once again we messed it up. Too bad. But at least that's all training for our uh, butchering skill, survival skill. 31% done on the way to uh, butchering level 1, uh, survival level 1. And survival level 1 will be a very important step because that will allow us to uh, craft a bow. We definitely want to have a bow. That was the idea from the beginning of the series on. We want to be a cool guy with a bow. There is a bat around. I do not think that, oops, that killing a bat is that easy. They are surely quick and hard to hit. Could take a 15th rock, so that's good. There is a squirrel to the south, close to this uh, road. And, oh, a zombie child. Where is this zombie child? Ah, uh -huh. down here in town. Southwest. Let's 
So we have to see. Maybe we have to fight a zombie. A skeleton. Oh, interesting. Here is the skeleton. There is the zombie child. Both are over there in town. Okay, ah, we have to get in there in order to reach the pharmacy. Let us try to sneak in there. Maybe it will work. The zombies have not recognized us yet. Otherwise, there would be an exclamation mark next to their name. Let us try to go straight through the middle and hope that they just will, will not see us. Check again. Still, we have not been recognized. That's good. And still not good. Like that. Here is a red around. Yeah, do not care so much about the red. But the red is right next to a building. So. Oh, that's gonna be exciting, dudes. Many zombies around. Zombie child. Nobody has yet recognized us. And we're getting closer to the pharmacy. That's exciting. Here we come. That's the building into which we want to get. Still nobody has recognized us. Is and now we have to see if we have a chance to get in there from behind maybe. Oh, zombie. A zombie dock. Where's this zombie dock? On the right side of us. Because these dogs are damn quick. They are hard. Very hard to... Okay, I'm like afraid this guy has seen us. Well, not yet. Oh, I'm sure he has seen us. Just try to avoid fighting the zombie. Why do not do I not have these exclamation marks? I'm sure he has seen us. He's not blind, ain't he? Is that maybe another mod or another version? However, we have to kill this guy. So from now on we should start throwing him with rocks. That hit him. One point of damage. One more. Two more. Okay, we are still quite quick I think so if he enters this square it will take him 400 movement points to get from there further on that gives us at least two or three hits at him that's what we're trying to exploit so one free hit 22 points of damage second free hit and the zombie dies let us also kill this red We'll we just edit. Throw rocks at the red. Yes, kill them all. Let us butcher the zombie. All stars are nearby. Start butchering it anyway. Well, maybe not yet. Let me first pick up the rocks, just in case we have to fight again. That was a good fight. We managed to kill them without getting any damage was our first fight in the game. Our first real fight is not uh, hunting or something like that. So, yes, maybe which are the red first or the zombie? Okay, where are the other zombies? They are not yet very close, so we, maybe we can butcher him. Yes, try it. And it worked. Very nice. It's important to uh, kill these guys around because otherwise it might happen that you see them again in the worst possible moments why are we so heavily burned what are we I might drop all these heavy sticks I should have done that back at our home base yeah that allows us to carry a lot more Can we butcher this guy, yes, we can. No, no, we cannot. We were clumsy and messed it up. Okay. Also, the pointy sticks do not really need it. But I could throw the pointy stick at uh, enemies, maybe. Okay, do not need these rocks. Still, let's continue to get into this pharmacy. There is a spitter zombie. That's another tricky one. Yes, watch around the corner. Nothing to be seen here, or is there? I do 
not see any zombies. That's good. Who can we now still see? We see a zombie. This is the closest. Spitter zombie, further away. Zombie chart to the northeast. Don't care about the zombie chart. Let's try to get in there. Maybe we can sneak past them. We will see. Where are the zombies now? This guy is getting a little closer. This guy is still where he was. Again. Who do we have? Oh, that's a whole lot of enemies. And this skeleton is very close. 19 steps down there. Let us just... Oh my god. <laughs> we have to deal with these guys if we want to get into the pharmacy. One, two, three. Who's that? The spitter zombie? A yeah, skeleton. These guys are also quite nasty, if I remember correctly, from uh, from Des 24680's Let's Play. By the way, if you want to see this amazing Let's Play, I have added it to the uh, Let's Play Hall of Fame on my page. So uh, take a look at it. You won't regret it. That's for sure. So, <laughs> oh my god. Let us just retreat and see if uh, a couple of them follow us. Oh, it seems that they have recognized that we're here. Ooh, and that's the zombie dog. Fuck. So I think that's a decision from uh, a range from which I can start throwing rocks at him. I hope that I will be able to kill him rather quickly. There comes another zombie. How heavily is he injured? Lightly can let's try if we can hit him with our knife. Seventy points of damage, that was good. But he bites our torso. That's not so good. Continue to kill him, come on. Twenty-eight, critical, and the zombie dog dies. Nice. We have no time to butcher him, so we will just splatter and splash his body. I am happy that we were able to kill this dog so quickly. Now we have to get into a better position to fight these zombies. Three zombies are right behind us. Start throwing rocks at the first one. One point. That was a good hit. Eight. Okay, missed him. I'm glad that we are such a quick guy. That's what I tried from the very beginning. To be able to outrun zombies, that's important. Five points of damage, two points. Now we need to lure them over these pieces of grass. And I hope that I will get a chance to get a free attack in. Okay, here. Yeah. We've got one. Should have another. Oh no. Our torso is bitten. We had just one free attack. This guy's dead. Very nice. Oh, I hope we won't get too much damage. So, one free attack. And this zombie's dead either. What about this guy? Oh, we are out of rocks. One, two. He's critical. Let us try to lure him to this grass piece and there we can hopefully kill him. Come on. Waiting for you. Yes, he's dead. Now we also, let's check who's still around. The boomer, a zombie to the south, which is rather close, and the zombie child over there. I would like to get a rock to deal with this boomer. There's a zombie soldier, where's this guy? Okay, there are a couple of other zombies over there and I'd like not to deal with them right now. So. Throw the rock at this guy. Bam! Oh, we missed him. Too bad. Maybe we can run around and pick up our rocks from down here. There's a bigger stack of rocks. Oh well, we have to fight the zombie first anyway. One. Oh! I think he uh, spit his bile at us. That's not nice. Fuck you, dude. Can we get a single hit at him? Oh, right, left is uh, bitten. That's not good. C 
critical damage, that's good, and we can see again. And we killed the zombie, very good. Throw the rocks at this guy, by the way. Where do you stay? Come on. Okay, we killed him. He explodes. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh, that was loud. Now all the others will have realized we're here. However, we have to s quickly splatter the zombies on the ground. See what they had with them. Is there anything that we can use? A blanket. A blanket is definitely good. And I hope that soon we will be able to uh, to uh, see again. Pick up these rocks. What's that? Zombie corpse. Rock. Might also take that sweater with me. Because it fits us. Splatter the corpse, of course. Where are the others? Hopefully we can see. Ah, we can see again. Good. Is there also a zombie corpse? Yes, there is one. Ripped sweatshirt, a screwdriver and a beauty magazine. I'll take both with me. Were these all corpses? Not sure. This guy and this guy. I think the zombie child might now come over here. Because that was a loud noise when this guy exploded. Uh, at least it gets in our direction, seems so. We've got eight rocks now, that's quite okay. Hmm. We might even have the chance to get past these guys. We have already killed quite a couple of them. Maybe we can get into the pharmacy. Oops, I forgot to pick up the rock. We've already got throwing at level 2 now. Get better and better at throwing rocks. That will allow us to make more damage. It's very nice. And we're still very lightly wounded. That's also good. Oh, don't want to carry so much. Well, we will just throw some rocks away soon. That was the zombie dog. Who do we see? Ordinary zombie on that side. the way. There is inside this car <laughs> is the skeleton, a zombie child and a zombie. I like to lure them out. If we can kill the three of them then I think we will be free to enter the pharmacy and get medicine in order to cure our sickness. What about the other zombies? Those are close. This guy's... Well, they're still far away. We can ignore them. What's up, guys? Dare to leave the car? Or don't you? Hello. Okay, that's a little risky now. Hmm. Where's this fourth zombie? Oh, over there is another one. Take a look. Ah, there he is. I will try to get around the house and see if I can rather enter it from the other side. Maybe the zombies will follow me. Zombies bitter. Too bad I cannot see these exclamation marks. I saw them in Death's Let's Play. But I don't know how it works. Is there someone coming? No one to be seen. Oh, we are so silent with our silent steps. We've got just a noise of two while walking. That's why we are so good at sneaking around. Who is there? A zombie. 14 steps to the west. Okay, this guy has seen us and is following us. Yeah. So, you are the first one to die. But he seems to be quite quick. Let me try to sneak around. So I just hit him once and then directly continue. This knife is a great weapon. It does big amounts of damage. Throw a rock. Throw a rock. Throw another one. 
and he's dead. Nice. We might even now, wait, no one's too close, we have the chance to butcher him. That worked. Um, boxing monthly, cool. And a whole lot of clothes. No, not too many. But at least some tattered pants that would fit us, but I, I will leave them on the ground for now, because we are already at our maximum carrying capacity at the moment. What are we wearing, by the way? Jeans, t-shirt, leather backpack, a hoodie, reading glasses. Yeah, cannot do much more at the moment. I think that's okay. Oh, dudes, that's exciting. I really hope we will be able to get that medicine. That's the aim. Get that medicine. Anything to be seen down here? That's a cat. Is it a zombie cat or is it an ordinary cat? Uh, it's a cat. Just an ordinary cat. Okay. The zombies are all still quite far away. More than 50 steps. Still? 38? No, that's the cat. But the cat can stay there. I don't mind the cat. Ah, oh, but I mind this guy. A zombie. Okay, this guy is gonna die. Come on, zombie. Show me your skills. Oh, what's that? A shrieker zombie. And a zombie cop is also somewhere around. The shrieker zombie is very close and these guys shriek so loud that every zombie in the... Oh, and the zombie cop also. Maybe he's heavily armed. Zombie cop, shrieker zombie. He will definitely alarm everybody in the area. So, anyway, follow me guys. I do not plan to leave you alive. Well, I will not throw the rocks here, but rather up there, where I have my preferred uh, grass bushes. Come a little closer, come on. Now stop throwing rocks at the police, zombie. The human body covered in weather beam and badly damaged set of riot gear. Riot gear, oh, then he will be heavily armored to take care of this guy. Hit him once, oh, he just do little damage. That's what I expected. this guy once and retreat to the next Whew. we should be able to do it come on police zombie this guy's dead nice but this guy is nasty okay down there we have to remember there's one dead zombie corpse that we have to butcher later. One more point of damage. How fit is he? Have we already injured him heavily? Severely injured. That sounds good. But we're out of rocks. We have to pick up those rocks later. Come on. We have to do the rest in melee. Oh, I wasted a turn. Ah, but we killed him. Nice. Excellent. Anybody else close? The zombie child. Can we still butcher this guy? Yes, we can. Zombie child went away again. Good. Wow. Under armor that fits us. Tactical tonfa, whatever that might be. SWAT armor. Riot arm. Too bad all these things don't fit us. But shredded cargo pants. We will directly equip them as soon as we have killed the other zombie uh, corpse here. Was it here? Uh, not sure. No. And here? Oh, wait, I have to examine it. 
here is a tattered pan, standard meat. Where, where, where did we kill that zombie? Was it there? Yeah, there it is. Let's butcher this corpse too. Yes. <laughs> Why do we always su succeed when butchering these uh, <laughs> worthless guys? Should we take that salt with us? Yes, I think so. Now let's get up there and equip the cargo pants that this guy dropped. Because I think they fit us, didn't they? No, they don't fit us. Too bad. But this under armor is something at least. And maybe this utility vest. These are all nice things, but they don't fit us. Too bad. I think I might just equip this under armor. Uh, gives us additional protection and warmth. Let's see if we wear it if we get too hot. At least it gives us additional protection points and that's definitely good. So, pick up these rocks. Are there also rocks there? No. Oh, we cannot carry any more. I will drop that sweater that we've got with us. That's not so important. I think we're doing quite well, guys. Anything else we want to drop? No, but we've got 15 rocks again. And I think this is a nice timing to end this episode. We have successfully killed a whole lot of zombies, just taking minor damage to the torso and to our right leg. And I think we might be able to fight our way free into the pharmacy in order to get medicine to deal with our sickness. So. Hope to see you all again for the next episode. Bye everybody.